Hi everyone. So this video is a follow-up from the latest video I did on Revelation 12 on yet another evidence that Revelation 12 is not mid-tribulation, but rather it is a picture of events that lead up to the mid-tribulation point, beginning with the rapture of the church as the birth of the male child. Then from there, the dragon will go after the woman to persecute her and try to kill her, and she will be hidden for the last three and a half years of the tribulation point, at which point he will be enraged with the woman and go off to make war against the rest of her offspring, who will be the tribulation saints who come to the truth during the tribulation period. So Revelation 12 is a picture of things that lead up to the mid-tribulation point. What I would like to show you in a nutshell, um, you know, aside from the latest video I did, I, I did a lot of scripture build up to build the case on what I was trying to show you, but this is just it in a nutshell. Revelation 12, 3, the dragon has seven heads and ten horns, with seven crowns upon the seven heads, which I explained in the other video, what that means. Um, then, in Revelation 13, 1, the beast comes up out of the sea. He has seven heads and ten horns, except now there are ten crowns upon those ten horns that were not there back in Revelation 12, 3. It says in Revelation 13 that the dragon gives his power and authority to the beast. That's why he has that same imagery as the dragon, except now uh, it shows the, like I said, the ten crowns upon the ten horns. In Revelation 17 verses 12 and 13 say that the ten horns are ten kings who have not yet received their power and authority, but who for one hour, meaning at the appointed time, they will, and they will, they have one purpose, and that is to give their power and authority to the beast, to the Antichrist. So, and by the time we get to Revelation 13, 1, that is the mid-tribulation point that begins, you know, mid-trib and throughout the last three and a half years of the tribulation period. And because the ten horns have crowns on them, that means they've already been, in, they've already uh had been given their authority. They've already taken authority. And so they have one purpose, that is to give their authority and power to the Antichrist so that he can have power over the whole entire world. So it all, you know, it, just that detail just shows there's a transition in time and in power by time the beast rises up out of the sea. So the first three and a half years of the tribulation, there are no ten crowns on those ten horns, not until the last three and a half years. And that's why you see them in Revelation 13, but you don't see those ten crowns on the ten horns in Revelation 12. So that's it in a nutshell. Hope this blesses you. Maranatha, friends.